Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. The Lennon sisters are a quartet of sisters who performed on The Lawrence Welk Show for more than a decade. Part of a family of 12 children, the sisters met Lawrence Welk because one of them was a high school classmate of one of Lawrence's sons. The girls went on to have a successful and prosperous career, one they still enjoy today. This is their story. The Lennon sisters were a singing group of actual sisters who appeared on the Lawrence Welk Show in its early days. Their names were Peggy, Kathy, Janet, and Dee Dee. They were four girls in a family of 12 children, seven sisters, and five brothers. Mary Frances Lennon, the youngest of these children, crossed to the other side as an infant in 1954. Their parents, who married in 1939, were William Herbert Lennon, a milkman and later golf course worker, and Isabel Denning Lennon, a homemaker. The sister's mom, Isabel, was the daughter of Danforth Denning and Rina Isabella Alvarez. Isabella's ancestral background included Mexican, Spanish, German, and Irish. During their childhood, the Lennon sisters lived with their parents, grandma, and siblings in a two-bedroom house in Venice, California. The family were devout Roman Catholics and attended the local church of St. Mark. Most, and perhaps all, of the children attended Catholic school when they were young. This Roman Catholic faith played an important part in the singing career of the Lennon sisters. It influenced their lives, the direction they took in their career, and even some of the songs they sang. In fact, Many of their songs were outright hymns or of a religious nature. The Lennon sisters debuted on The Lawrence Welk Show, their first time performing on TV, on Christmas Eve in 1955. They obtained this wonderful break in their career because one of the sisters went to high school with Lawrence Welk's son, Larry. Larry brought the sisters over to his house to sing for his dad one day. And Lawrence was so impressed with them that he booked them for that week's episode of The Lawrence Welk Show. The girls stayed with the show until 1968, when they left it to pursue their own independent careers. The group was a quartet, except for a brief stint as a trio from 1960 to 1964, when Dee Dee left after getting married. She returned to the group in 1964 and made a handful of appearances with them on the show, during the years she was technically away from the group. The girl's father had performed in his own barbershop quartet during the big band era of music in the 1930s and 1940s, and he taught the art of barbershop to Peggy. Peggy taught it to Janet, Kathy, and Dee Dee. In the group, Peggy sang the high harmony, Kathy sang the low harmony, Janet sang the middle harmony, and Dee Dee sang the lead harmony. They took their musical influences from Patti Page, Connie Francis, the Mills Brothers, and the Andrew Sisters, all of whom the girls idolized and worked hard to create a sound similar to these famous performers. In addition to performing on The Lawrence Welk Show, the Lennon Sisters recorded several singles and albums for Dot Records. Their first single, titled Tonight You Belong to Me, charted at number 15 on the Billboard charts in the U.S. in 1956. A 1961 single of theirs titled Sad Movies Make Me Cry charted at number one in Japan and was their only number one single. The same song went to number 56 on the Billboard charts in the United States. At the height of their fame, several promotional items bearing the images of the sisters were produced to be sold at retail stores such as storybooks, paper dolls, and coloring books. As the girls got older and created families of their own, they needed extra money for their young households. They were only receiving union-scale pay on the Lawrence Welk Show. Lawrence agreed to the girls only appearing on the show once a month in 1967 so they could pursue other earning opportunities. Eventually, though, Lawrence decided that this new schedule of the sisters' appearances did not work for him. In February of 1968, he let them go from the show. The final song of their final performance on the show was the tune, Sweet and Low. After leaving the Lawrence Welk Show, the sisters were given their own variety show, 
Jimmy Durante presents the Lennon Sisters Hour. The show took an unexpected two-week hiatus after filming only five episodes as the girl's father, William Lennon, was murdered by a stalker fan of Peggy's in the parking lot of the golf course where he worked as an instructor. William had managed the girl's career until shortly before he was killed, when he retired to be a golf instructor. He had been at every performance they made on the Lawrence Welk Show, and his murder hit them hard. After he was shot, the girls discovered an unopened letter at his house. Inside the envelope was a cut-out picture of their dad with a gun pointing at his head, and the words, High Noon, which was the time he was shot. The murderer was a former Air Force officer who had previously been a patient at a mental hospital and was declared to be dangerously insane. He believed that he was married to Peggy and that her dad was the only thing standing between them and being together, so he had to be eliminated. He killed himself two months after the murder using the same weapon he'd used to kill William Lennon. Due to their bereavement, the sisters' show only lasted for a season and a half. After any of their own show, the girls performed as regulars on The Andy Williams Show in the 1970s. They also toured with Andy with much success for a decade. In addition to this, they appeared on game shows as well as performed at the Welk Theater from 1982, at Lawrence's request, to 1992, when Lawrence crossed to the other side. They moved their families from Los Angeles to Branson for this opportunity. After Lawrence crossed, the sisters performed as the headliners at the Welk Champagne Theater in Branson from 1994 to 2012. Peggy decided to retire from singing in 1999. After this, the lady's younger sister, Mimi, took Peggy's place in the group. Dee Dee left the group for the second time in 2001. After that, the group performed as a trio for the remainder of its time in Branson. The Lennon sisters tour the country today as a trio, appearing annually at the Andy Williams Moon River Theater in Branson, where they perform a Christmas show. They have performed for 20 consecutive years in Branson, Missouri. Many thanks for listening and following the Ancestral Findings podcast. Visit AncestralFindings.com to download a free genealogy ebook, inquire about a free genealogy lookup, and register for the weekly historical postcard giveaway. And thank you to everyone who contributes via Patreon. It helps keep this instrument in tune, this drummer in time, and this band in step. I hope you have a wonderful day, and happy searching!